गुरु विष्णु गुरु देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षाकर ब्रह्मा तस्म श्री गुरुदेव नम मातृ देवो भव पितृदेव भव भव संभव प्रीति भेदन सुख संपत करुणा निकेतन प्रतदान तप क्रियाफल सजानंद गुरु भजे सदा निजाशिता सकला सदत्म भक्तेरवन विधाता दाता सुखा मन शिक्षिता तानोत्कृष्णखिल मंगल सुप्रीम अमरि भगवान स्वामीनायण पूज्य गुरुजी सतो एन लोयदान परिवार भक्त जय सोमनारायण आर ऑफ फाइव हंड्रेड नन सतो सदगुरु गुणतीतनंद स्वामी वॉज वन ऑफ अ खाइन By the commands of Bhagwan Swami Narayan, he was lectured to various santo and bhakto with his divine vato. Through this, many became enlightened. As Loyadam Parivar Bhakto, we too want to become enlightened. So today, I would like to share some gems of Sadguru Gunati Pranand Swami Ni Vato. Swami Narayan Hare, Swami Narayan Hare, Swami E Vat Kare. Gem one: Remembering this sadhu in the mind destroys the sins of the mind. Listening to his talks destroys the sins of the ears. and engaging his darshan destroys the sins of the eyes understand his glory in this way jam 2 but do not believe oneself to be sinful and in fear since by thinking like that the jiva does not remain strong and its strength declines and we have attained god so why should we have feel fallen we should feel fulfilled jam 3 by seeking refuge in god and his sadhu even intense miseries that are to be fall on one are averted However, even if one exhausts oneself through and of and of ours, they are still not averted. Gem four: No amount of money can buy eyes, ears, and other sense of organs, but God has given them for free. However, the jiva is forever ungrateful. Gem five: If one can associate with a great person, but can never associate with an inferior person, just on that. कमर कटारो लागत प्यारो कमर कटारो लागत प्यारो जीव छू छो गलियो कोई गोई रे जीव छू छो गलियो गोई गोई रे मावा तारी मूर्ति मा मोही मोही रे तम विनाथ त्रिलोक माही तम विनाना त्रिलोक माही बालु बीचु नाथी रे कोई कोई रे बालु बीचु नाथी रे कोई कोई रे मावा तारी मूर्ति मा मोही मोही रे मन मोहन तारी नवल छबी मा मन मोहन तारी नवल छबी मा जीव छू छो गलियो रोई प्रोई रे जीव छू छो गलियो रोई प्रोई रे मावा तारी मूर्ति मा मोही मोही रे ब्रह्मानंद कहे तम सारू ब्रह्मानंद कहे तम सारू गुण मर जाता कोई कोई रे गुण मर जाता कोई कोई रे 
मावतारी मूर्ति मा मोह मोह रे Supreme Almighty Bhagwan Swamnarayan Pooja Guruji Santo and Loyadam Parivar Bhakto Jai Swamnarayan Bhagwan Swamnarayan's divine vachanamrut gives us the best perspective to understand his likings Bhagwan Swamnarayan states in Gatana middle chapter 28th vachanamrut I have delivered my message having heard and having extracted the essence from the Vedas the Shastras the Purans and all other words on this earth pertaining to liberation This is the most profound and fundamental principle and it is the essence of all essences for all those who have previously attained liberation and for all those who will attain it in the future and for all those who are constantly threading the path to of liberation this discourse is like a lifeline from what we can comprehend that this holy scripture is a master key to attaining liberation so today i would like to tell you some gems gem 1 if a person maintains profound love towards a cantik sant of god just as resultly as he maintains profound love towards his own relatives then the gateway to liberation is open for him gadra first 54th vachanam jam number 2 the person whose heart is filled with bhakti towards god feels i want to act only according to god's and his son's commands such is the spirit within his heart moreover he never even by mistake utters i will be only be able to follow certain commands but not others Gadra first 15th vachanam gem number 3 the more one continues to imbibe the virtues of a great satpurush the more one's bhakti begins to flourish gadra first 58th vachanam jai sri arti is a hindu religious ritual of worship in which wicks soaked in ghee which is purified butter are lighted and offered to one or more deities it is a ceremony performed in extolled greeting and thanksgiving of the deities where devotees are reminded of their glorious presence and of their providence many attribute this ritual of aarti to the practice many centuries ago where pujaris would illuminate oil lamps deep inside the dark recess of a mandir's cave-like inner sanctum In order to worship the sacred idols, the priest would wave the oil lamp from the deity's head to toe while chanting Vedic mantras or singing prayers. Gradually over time, this practice developed into what we refer today as the aarti. The term aarti also refers to the prayer sung in praise of God. This prayer is joyously sung to the accompaniment of musical instruments including drums, bells, gongs, and a conch shell. Within the Swaminarayan tradition, the aarti was composed by Sadguru Shri Muktanand Swami, who was one of Bhagwan Swaminarayan's most senior and learned sadhus. On November 5th, 1802, in the village of Kalwani, Sadguru Shri Muktanand Swami composed the aarti. Jay Sadguru Swami and performed it personally by waving lighted wicks before Bhagwan Swaminarayan himself ever since this aarti is being performed by saints and devotees of Lord Swaminarayan throughout the world with the true devotion being offered at Lord Swaminarayan's lotus feet. 